Hello everyone! How are you today? I hope you are doing great! Now let's continue our lesson. Please open your student's book on page 88. Student's book, page 88. Now I'll ask you, have you ever been to a live concert? No? Yes? Okay, some of you said yes, but most of you said no. If you haven't been there, the same. Me too, I haven't been there before. I've never been to a live concert, but that's not a problem, I guess. We will still discuss this lesson. We're going to talk about art and artists. Okay, here there are some vocabularies in the box. Please take a look. The first one is abstract painting. I believe you know the meaning of this. A painting that has an abstract picture. And the meaning is also abstract. Not all people can easily understand the meaning of an abstract painting. Okay, how about buskers? Buskers are people who entertain in a public place. Or to make it easier, in Bahasa, we call it pengamen. That is buskers. Okay, a gig. A gig means a person of odd appearance. So a person with unique appearance. A gig. Okay, now graffiti. Graffiti means pictures on words painted on the wall. It's very big. Juggling. Juggling means throwing and catching several objects at the same time. Usually the objects are balls. Yeah, it was done by... Yeah, I believe you've seen this in some of circus performance or something. Yes, that's juggling. Catching and throwing balls. Usually three balls. Next. Um, performance art I believe you know this art, art performance performance art like musical performance uh, what is it playing drama and so on or theater yeah that's called performance art a portrait portrait means a picture of a person can be a picture can be a painting of a person the example of por portrait is Mona Lisa portrait by Leonardo da Vinci. And then a sculpture. A sculpture means a piece of art that is made by carving mold or molding clay or stone. In Bahasa, a sculpture means patung. Yes, yeah, Statue of Liberty is the example of a sculpture. And then a stage musical. This one is a concert, band concert. Recital. Recital means the act of reading something out loud on the stage. Recital. Like poem recital. That's one of the example. And then a still life. A still life is when you put object, real object, in an art gallery. Okay. So those are the meanings. Now let's let's match the picture with the words. Picture one, what is it? Of course, it's buskers. Yes, buskers. Picture two, it's a gig. Well done. Picture three, it's a sculpture. Yes, good. Number four, what is it? It's Performance art. Well done. Picture five. What is it? It's a recital. Yes. And picture six. It's a still life. Good job. Okay. Now let's continue with the next part which is part two. So in part two, you have to match the words and performances from the box, from this box, 
uh, with one or more of the places where you could see or hear them. For example, an art gallery, right? In an art gallery, you can find an abstract painting. What else? Maybe a portrait, yes, and maybe a still life. Good. Now, in a theater, what can you find? Please choose from this box. In a concert hall, in a museum, and outside. Okay, you can do it by yourself. Next, we are going to listen to the recording. And please, uh, Number the sentences based on the the order that you hear. Okay, are you ready? Let's listen now. Unit ten, page eighty-eight. Listen. Exercises one and two. Listen. One. Back a bit. Back a bit. Now. But the set designer wouldn't listen. I'm going to have a word with the director. Oh, he won't listen either. They never do. Oh. Two. So, then you walk to the chair and sit down at the table. That's right. And I sing my aria. And then I come and stand next to you. Yes, actually, maybe you could try sitting at the table opposite me. If you prefer. It's a little hard to sing with you standing next to me. If you say so. So, let's try from the beginning of the scene again. Yes, it smells wonderful, doesn't it? Mm. You don't think the colour makes me look dull? <laughs> Not at all. You look exquisite. Shall I help you with the laces? Yes, thank you. Oh, not too tight. <laughs> Sorry. And uh, have you seen my shoes? Um, yes, uh, they're here. I wish I didn't have to run onto the stage at the start of the scene. These shoes aren't made for running. I know, but they look superb. Thank you. You're a darling. Now, where's my script? I need to practice my lines. Four. One, two, one, two, one, one. Okay, that's fine. Can you test the lights on the drum kit? Sure, hang on. All the lights have gone off. I can't see anything. Sorry, just changing some of the lights. I need to keep them off for a minute. Can you find the drums anyway? I'll try. Oh! oh. <sighs> Found them. Five. Now, the first time we hear the melody, I want you to play it softly, as if it were a memory of a dream. Do you understand? As quietly as you possibly can. <laughs> more romantic. <laughs> Trumpets, pianissimo. Remember that the violins have the melody. Hmm. All right, let's try it again from the beginning. Six. And then it's step, step, turn, jump. Step, step, turn. Oh, which way do I turn? 
To the left or to the right? To the right. But keep looking straight ahead the whole time. Look straight at the audience. So your body turns, but your head stays still. All right. Can we try it again? <sighs> step, step, turn, jump. Ah! I forgot. I turned to the left. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's do it again. Sorry. I'm being so slow today. Okay, so that's for the listening part. You can use the listening audio to do part one and part two. Right. After you're done, please do the workbook on page 79. Okay, everyone? That's it for today's lesson. Thank you for listening to me. See you on the next lesson.